Hey guys, I'm Justin DeJesus. Hey, I'm Tony Kafari. And you're watching Popcorn and Joysticks. All right, so we've made it. Where, you ask? Right here. Episode uh, five. Well, I said 10. This is 10. Yeah. We're, my bad, he's my pushing bad, my bad. We're almost. We got, we're doing the uh-oh <laughs> dance. Or the, not the uh-oh dance. <laughs> oh my god. I meant put a ring on it. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's scale it back here because, I mean, the excitement obviously is real. We're here at episode 5, you guys. You're for, very excited about these. I know. Because it's, we're I mean. We're sharing little pieces yeah. of our souls with you. Yeah, and we love hearing from you guys. You know, yeah, this you is, guys have come up with some amazing exactly. answers. We've been really impressed. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> We've been very impressed. Yeah, so this is, again, episode five of uh, Movies That Deserve a Second Look. Well, by the looks of the movies we chose. Where did you go? I'll go first. <laughs> because they're slightly similar. Oh, uh, not really. To me, they're slightly similar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, for my movie, for movies you may have overlooked that deserve a second look, I chose Treasure Planet. Okay. Um, which I actually rewatched last night because I was like, oh, I want to do Treasure Planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm going to rewatch it to make sure that I really, like, wanted it here because it's, it's a special place for me for right. my movies to get onto this list. Um, so, I rewatched it last night and I was still impressed with it. So, I was like, oh, oh, good. bringing you Treasure Planet, which came out in 2002. <laughs> Uh, it was directed by Ron Clements, who was actually a participant and a director for The Great Mouse Detectives oh. and The Little Mermaid and Aladdin, and he brought us all those wonderful movies. Wow. And then he brought us Treasure Planet. That's awesome. And I think they thought Treasure Planet was going to do way better than it did. Mm. So, a little bit of a synopsis for Treasure <laughs> Planet is, it's actually based off of a book, um, which was written by Robert Louis Stevenson. Mm-hmm. And the book did fabulous. <laughs> the book sold. Like, they always do. The, the book they sold always the shelves, do. And everybody has a copy, but the movie did not do so hot. <laughs> uh, so the story is basically about um, a young boy. He's about 15 years old, and his name is Jim. And he's a little bit of a troublemaker, oh, like the rest of us. <laughs> he's not bad. He's not a bad kid. He's right. just like that kid that doesn't always go exactly how he's supposed to. Right, right. So he's not like getting in tons of trouble. Okay. He's just like little... Thing. Little things here and there. Little things right. here and there, which is irritating to any parent anyway. Okay. So his mother's it like, happens. oh my god, I can't deal with you anymore. <laughs> right, right. So he happens to come across all these cool things, and he stumbles across a map, which is basically the big sphere, and it's like a round yeah. map, oh, wow. which leads him to another planet, which is basically like an other realm, right. planety, outer spacey thing. Mm-hmm. It's just a planet. <laughs> it's got, you know, creatures and aliens, and but not like alien aliens. They're right, like super yeah. cute little bubbly creatures. And he gets to he gets to take like this. It's funny because it's a, a rocket ship. It's a spaceship, but it's a ship. That right. makes sense. Okay. It's actually a boat. Yeah, right. But it flies. Oh, I remember. Space. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> That's my jam. I thought it was kind of cute that it's a spaceship, but it's technically a ship. Yeah. Um, so he gets to be like a cabin boy for them and go on this big adventure. And he, of course, he's got a sidekick and he's got his buddy and he's got a pet. And his pet is this awesome little blob of a nothingness that, right. you know, cuddles all up in his little cheek. And it, mm -hmm. it is. It's cute. It's really cute. Um. So some of the main characters in it, some of the voices, I was actually really impressed when I looked up who they were, and I didn't know that that's who they were. Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt from Third Rock from the Sun is actually the voice of Jim, and I did not, and I've watched it like four times now, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that is who that is. Yeah. So I didn't know. Well, and sometimes know. you don't think about things yeah. like that, and then when you actually figure out what it is or who it is, then you start thinking, and, and you're, you're like, like, oh, it I did sound right. like it. Yeah. That's so, the guy. And Martin <laughs> Short, um... Also does one of the voices. David Hyde Pierce does one of the voices. Emma Thompson does awesome. um, the female captain. The captain of the boat is actually a female, which is Ooh. cool. Yeah, so cool. I'm going to wrap you up pretty quickly because it was a pretty easy movie to cover. <laughs> um, they did have a $140 million budget, which is, I feel like that's on the low end for an animated film. Low-ish end for an animated film, especially a Disney production. No, it's not low. I, don't know. I think it's good. See, it I sounds think it's, low to me because I think it's, lately it's been really high. Right, right. I think that that's actually a hundred million and up is what you you know. It's like an average. Yeah. Number. So it was one hundred forty million, and it box office one hundred and nine million. Oh. It made nothing. Even though I watched it four times, it made nothing. That's horrible. Which is awful. Yeah, that is. But because I like the movie, and I think it um, 
it really it was it was good for all ages it wasn't like a oh it's a really little kid movie or oh it's an adult right, or right. higher age teenager movie it, it was really an all age movie it, that's good there wasn't like anything crazy in it that you can't let your three-year-old watch but it wasn't boring to where 25 year olds didn't want to watch it with their three-year-old so I'm going to rate this movie a seven this week because it's not really on my list, but but it is on my list, but so it's, it's still it, yeah. a good movie. <laughs> I like that. It made my list. Well, that's a decent score, and um, definitely you know it's a, it's a good movie. I've actually seen this one, so yeah. you know a lot of times occasionally we do, this, we do right? see movies that we each other are yeah. covering. <laughs> but no, it's definitely it's definitely a gem, and I'm glad you covered that one. Thank uh, you. I actually chose Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Which is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, and the, the original, just so in case you guys are questioning or wondering, uh, this was the one from 1971. And this is where we disagree. We disagree. Justin loves the original, and I, I love the remake, and he did not. <laughs> and it's, I love Johnny Depp, and I love, uh, who directed that one? Um, wasn't it the same guy who did his, who, who, uh, who's done Alice in Wonderland? Uh, oh, uh, he always works with him. Oh, Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I believe it's, it I'm was thinking, directed like, by Tim Burton. But if it's and, not, and Corpse Bride and correct all me, let me know. Or, I'm pretty yeah. But I'm pretty sure, sure it was Tim Burton. Burton. Um, it was very Tim burton -y. Right? It had that <laughs> um, Burton-esque in it. Exactly. Yes. And this one, for me, that one didn't work. So I chose the original from, of course, June 30th of 1971. Um, Which none of us were here for. No, we weren't. My mama was a And living. you know what's crazy? <laughs> I'm going to jump right into actual, actually, you know, just this, the... Um, the budget and then what it made because you just made a point we were all not here and so the budget for that film back then was three million now remember they still no matter how much money you're putting into it or what time it is you still have to make at least three to four times the amount right. because there's still advertisement and all that other stuff that we went over before so they needed to make, so like, they need what, to make six, seven, I would say about six two. to seven okay. more if, if, if applicable of course uh, right they're always welcome to, right. to take more <laughs> take more coins yes yeah. uh, but it only made four million only made four million. And see, that actually surprises me. But this is why I said what you said about the year and none of us being there is relevant because it actually took it to come out on DVD uh, and then later on for Warner Brothers to actually for re release, um, right? To re release yes. it. But, um, and, and they re released it, I believe it was uh, 1996. Okay, and that's, for that one. <laughs> yep. and that's when we probably all then yeah, got yeah. it mm -hmm. because, again, back then it, it bombed at the box office, right. so they weren't going to, you know. But Warner Brothers represented it to us at 1996, and it actually uh, made an extra 21 million. Wow, so it actually did better. It did a lot around. better, yeah. So that's why okay. then, of course, it became um, a cult classic, even to our generation, right. and um, and then of course generations to come. And then because Warner Brothers did acquire those rights, they did of course the remake. But anyway, <laughs> I, I don't care for it. Anyway, so really going back, like of course, to the original, just in case you saw the remake, which obviously, even though it was quirky and colorful and bullshit, it did have the storyline. It did keep that at least intact mm -hmm. as far as Charlie's journey, where he was a poor boy from a poor family, and he was given this opportunity to go to somewhere where he was dreaming about. Actually, all the kids were dreaming about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, got, I got the golden ticket, that thing. <laughs> Um, and so that's what happened. Charlie gets the golden ticket. They have the song and dance about it with his grandpa in the bedroom. I mean, that movie, I just, I love that movie. It just, it just has a place in my heart that can never be taken by any other movie. And I love a lot of movies. And I do agree with you. I feel like the, the actors in the original were more genuine. Yeah. I do, I do agree with Justin on that, that I feel like they, they, they put more of themselves mm -hmm. into their character than the second time. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, now the director, of course, was Mel Stewart. And um, the writer was Royal uh, Dahl, excuse me. And uh, of course, we have the actors Gene Wilder, Jack Albertson, Peter Ostrom, uh, tons more. Uh, the list goes on. Uh, but it really is a great movie. So um, if you guys haven't seen it recently, or if you have the bad taste of that dumbass remake, <laughs> go and watch the original from 1971. I promise you that you will like it. Um, <laughs> And read the book. I mean, read the book. Anyway. I know, yes. I forgot to say. Really a, it really is. The Ronald Dahl version. I mean, the, the original book is Ronald mm -hmm. Dahl, and it was really. Yeah. As most books usually are. And that's actually, better. you know what? I'm glad you brought that up, Tony, because and I, I totally forgot about that, you guys. It, that really is an a integral piece to this whole yeah. thing, and the reason why I picked it, because uh, it is a timepiece, even though it may not seem like it is when you watch the film. 
Uh, and the book actually does delve deeper into that. Um, yeah. And I feel like it gets more into yeah, it does. It does. It, it does. Gives you a little more as as most it. books, right? That's why we always right. say, like she said, the books always outsell. Uh, you <laughs> know, sell. That's why these studios yeah. buy the rights to them to make the film, right. and then not. It's a hit or miss when that happens, right. you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like I said, you know, the boy's poor from the poor family. He gets the golden ticket along with a slew of other kids. They all go to the, the factory. And then, of course, uh, I don't want to give anything else away just in case you haven't seen it. But, of course, if you have, you know what happens. But it's such an enjoyable film. So uh, I picked that one for this week. It's a lot of fun. It, it is. A, it's a fun movie to watch. Yeah. It's, it's a really and, um, interactive. It is, yeah. No, kind of like, definitely. oh, my God. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh, don't do that. The it scenes. Is, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Each kid having fun. their own personality and their own. Yeah. This is actually one of my children's favorite films. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, would, they would have picked Justin's pick to see. sneak over mine. <laughs> Great kids. Although they like mine, <laughs> but I think they both probably would have picked yours over yeah. mine this week. <laughs> well, look, I would rate this, let's just say, I would rate this, I'm going to give it a seven, a solid seven. I'll give it a solid seven. seven this week, yeah. guys. It's not bad. I mean, people probably look at it and go, no. I think they gave it a seven. You have to understand, my personal scale is like so what? Yeah. Like, well, I think everybody way should way be. So, better. it is what it is, but we got sevens this week. We definitely want to know what you guys picked for this week. Uh, and, you know, tell us your score. I still disagree scores. with Justin. Just so I can... I'm going to show you... Look, let me just see this. Look at, no, look, I'm showing them. It says, fuck the remake with Johnny Depp. That's literally what he wrote on the, back, on the bottom to irritate me. Because I love Johnny Depp. It's a remake. I love <laughs> but we're gonna agree Johnny to Depp, today but because... that remake was horrible. I'm sorry. I, know, I liked it. It was creepy. It was... It was creepy. Maybe it's Tim Burton creepy, and that's why I liked it. Maybe that's why you didn't like it. So if you know. like creepy, you might like the remake. If you don't like creepy, you might not like the remake. All right, well, look, before you watch the remake... Watch the original I first, want you to absolutely. watch the original. No, I do agree. Yeah. Or if you've no, already no. seen the remake, then you've already been damaged. Go ahead and watch the original. Damaged, <laughs> oh my God. Go ahead and watch the original. Yeah. Uh, but no, um, but watch yeah. Watch it anyway. All film subjective, so it's all, it's all a good, fun, and game, but... Um, but yeah, that's again, that's our pick. So let us know what you guys uh, picked this week. We definitely want to hear from you and also know what you scored those yes. films. And then, of course, give us a thumbs up if you liked our picks and this video. And don't forget to subscribe. We are nearing 600 subscribers. We're like this close, yes. you guys. Like, oh, yes. It's crazy. <laughs> yes, it really, it really is. is. It's crazy. Um, yeah. But yeah, so my name is Justin DeJesus. And as always, I'm Tony Kafari. And you've been watching Popcorn and Joysticks. Make sure you keep that popcorn popping. And there's Joysticks rocking. <laughs>